Now quote coloring books are insanely popular on Amazon and in this video I'll be walking you through how you can create unique pages using a popular AI tool and put them into Canva. So I'm going to walk you through a few steps to create the best quote coloring books and the first step will be spending time doing research into finding your quote coloring book audience. Then secondly, creating your quote coloring books using ideogram. And thirdly, putting your quote coloring book together in Canva. So the first step to creating any successful book is always research. You should be creating books backed by data. So if we go onto amazon.com and type in a quote coloring book, you can actually see all the keywords that have been suggested that customers have actually been searching for. So this is a great way to kind of niche down even further and find a particular target audience with much lower search results. We've got a few ideas we might wanna test out such as quote coloring books for adults anxiety, quote coloring books for mental health, maybe quote coloring books for adults relaxation, motivational quote coloring books. But for this video, I just want to look at the general niche. So I'm just typed in quote coloring book. It shows that there are over 5,000 results just here on the left hand side. But again, using any of the keywords provided in the search bar, you'll be able to delve down much deeper and find something with lower results. So just scrolling through some of the books, let's go past the sponsored ads. We can see these first books here all have very low BSRs, all under 100,000. So they are all doing something correctly and it shows that there is demand for these types of quote coloring books. This book in particular by Coco Wyo, again, a popular coloring brand on Amazon is a bestseller and it's making a massive $281 per day with a crazy low BSR of 965. So it definitely shows the potential of a quality quote coloring book. And if we just scroll down a little bit more, we can see another quote coloring book with a very low BSR around 24,000, which was only released three months ago. However, it is only earning a $2 royalty, but that's because they have decided to price their book so low. But for me, it's always a good sign when I'm seeing recently books being released that still have a low BSR. It shows me that there's still opportunities within this niche. Now, what we need to do is take a look at the interior of one of these quote coloring books just to get an idea of what we need to do. So this quote coloring book, it does have a low BSR and a lot of positive reviews. So it's a good place to start from. So let's take a look inside. So all you need to do is go into the book and then click read sample. And on this book, we're not actually able to see some of the interior pages, but we can see them using the back page. So it is quite a simple concept. You've got your quote and it's surrounded by a fun and simple design, which follows the theme of the book. And these can be created easily using ideogram. So for this next step of the video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use Ideogram to get the best results. So to access Ideogram, you can just type in ideogram.ai and it'll take you to the website. Then you can sign up using a free account. And then you'll be taken to the main explore page where you're gonna see a lot of fantastic and unique designs, which displays what this tool can really do. But if you want to start creating your own designs, it is really simple. Just go to the search bar here and then you can type in what you want to create. So your prompt and here you have an option to turn on the magic prompt. So this just enhances your initial prompt to improve the image variety and richness. So I've just left that on automatic. Next we have the aspect ratio. So you just need to choose what size you want your color in book page to be and I'm going with the one by one so just the square type of coloring page and after this there are limitations on the free account so all your images do have to be public however I do have the eight dollars a month subscription plan as it gives me a lot more than the limited free plan with the free plan you only get roughly 10 uh, images per day and it does take a lot longer to generate the images and you have to wait to generate each prompt 
but just use the free version to test out the tool and you do get commercial license even if you are using the free version. So you can just see some of the amazing images that I have been able to generate using this tool. And the better you are prompting with this tool, then the better results that you are going to get. But let's start off at the bottom. Now for this first prompt here, I've kept it really simple. I've got the words dream big in the middle, surrounded by clouds and hot air balloons. And I wanted the words in particular to have this kind of bold outline. So even if we see the actual prompt that I typed in, it's got a coloring page with the words dream big in white with a black outline, write the text in the clouds with a hot air balloon floating around on a white background. And it has produced consistent results across three of the images. Again, it spelt it right in all of the images. However, one has color and that's just something sometimes you just can't do anything about. It did take me a little bit of time in order to get some of these results as the prompts I was putting in just wasn't providing me with the right types of quote coloring pages. But with every prompt, I made sure I put in the words a coloring page with the words and then put the words in quotation mark and make sure I had in white with a black outline, followed by whatever it was surrounded with. And then finally, just made sure that I had on a white background as sometimes it produced an image on a black background for some reason. So I'd say make sure you have those three parts within your prompt to get similar results. In some cases, I did have to put a black and white coloring page before the prompt, just because it kept on producing colored coloring pages. But I'll show you those when we get to it, but let's continue to have a look at some of these results. So next here, we've got the quote, be the change you wish to see in the world. And it's got hands, it's got love hearts, and it's got peace signs in the background. This isn't my favorite design. It didn't really come out great, but we'll move on to the next one. Then we've got, you are capable of amazing things. And with this one, I kind of wanted the sun and mountain kind of in the background. So it's always interesting to see what this tool is capable of and the images that it generates. But the first three are quite good results. The next one I wasn't too impressed with, but the quote was, your only limit is your mind. And it produced these images. And the idea behind this was to kind of have a book with the words kind of coming out of it and then ideas and creativity flowing from it. Next, we've got choose joy. And I tried to generate this image twice. We can see who's got the quote in the middle and surrounded by kind of animals in nature. This design, it is a little bit more interesting and it has a lot more going on. However, if you look closely, there are some errors within the images, especially on the animals or with the trees. So again, you can erase those out quite easily using Canva. Next, we've got the quote, keep going, keep growing. And the idea behind this one was to have the text next to a small plant that's growing through the cracks in the sidewalk with vines and leaves extending into a beautiful garden on a white background. So it isn't perfect with every prompt, but at least within the third one, it has kind of followed it quite well. However, in the other images, it does have color, but I'd say in the first two, at least we can remove the color within Canva and at least still have a decent quote coloring page. And from this point, you're gonna see the quality of the images drastically go up because I made one big change. And the change I did was to start adding a specific text style to each image. So in this prompt, I've asked for a flowing cursive font with a bold outline. And you can see that it's actually produced that within each of the images. And this will allow you to create a much more vibrant and unique theme among your quote coloring book images. In some of these images at the start, I've also added a black and white coloring page just to make sure that there is no color included in the images. 
but I really like this next design here. It says courage over comfort and it has a lion's head roaring there. So with this, I've asked for a strong blocky font with a bold outline and it's produced a really nice design here. Next, we have follow your heart as the quote with a compass around it. Then we've got as the font, a classic script font and it's produced this interesting style. After this, we've got create your own sunshine. So I just wanted a kind of playful bubbly font with a bold outline and it gave us this fun design. Next, I decided to change it up a little bit and I went with a bold gothic style font with a strong outline saying seize the day and it's kind of got a medieval castle around it. And finally, we've got let your dreams take flight. And with this style of font, I just wanted a handwritten style font with a bold outline, having the words let your dream take flight in the middle. So adding different styles of font will allow you to add more creativity to your images. And if you are struggling with prompting again, just ask ChatGPT and it will give you a lot of ideas that you can use within your prompts. And once you've finished creating your designs in Ideogram, just make sure you click on here to download it. Now the final part involves putting your quote coloring book together in Canva. So we're going to go over to canva.com. It's very easy to sign up. And once you are signed up, they do have a free account, but I do recommend you having the pro account as there are just so many benefits to it. But to start creating, you can click on create a design and then you need to go custom design. Then you can put in your dimensions here. But if you don't know the dimensions that you need, you can just come over to kdpcalculator.com and then you can just put in, firstly, you've got the binding type, we'll put in paperback, then interior type, we'll do black and white. Paper type, we'll do white paper. Reading direction is left to right. Measurement unit is usually inches. Interior trim size, so for this one, I'm going with a square size page, so 8.5 by 8.5. And then the page count, I recommend a minimum of at least 30 quote coloring pages. And then you need the next page blank to prevent the leak through. So that'll be 60 pages in total. If you want, you can add a title page and copyright page, which would make it 62 pages. But for this example, I'm just showing you 60. And then click on calculate dimensions and it's going to give you all the dimensions you need for your quote coloring book. So for the cover, we've got the dimensions here and I'm not going to show you how to create the cover in this video as I've already got a full video here about creating covers with ideogram. And so for the book interior, we've got the dimensions here, 8.5 by 8.5. And if you want to add a bleed, then you can just add these dimensions on. So now we can come back into Canva and just put 8.5 by 8.5 and then you will get a blank page. So what you can start doing is just uploading your images and then adjusting them to each page. Make sure that the next page after is blank and continue to follow the same format through until you have 30 quote coloring pages and 30 blank pages. Also, I do recommend upscaling each of your images and there is an upscale tool now within Canva so you can do this. It does take a little bit longer to do. I'm not sure if this is only for pro users, but to access it, just click on the image, then go to edit image and then you just need to scroll down to the bottom and then go to image upscaler. Click on upscale image and it may take a few moments. And you can just scroll across the side just to see the differences between both images. And you can see how much more crisp it is. Then once you're happy, click replace. You've also got access to the magic eraser tool just to touch up and fix any image. But I've already got a video on that to show you how to do this. And once you're happy with everything, all you have to do is click share. Choose the file type as PDF print. Then if you've got the Canva Pro, I go with CMYK, best for professional printing and click download. So I have covered all the steps to successfully create a unique quote coloring book. Let me know what was your favorite quote coloring page and any other videos that you want to see in the comments.